Hello everybody and welcome to the next crazy episode. This is something which I've wanted to do for some time, but obviously I have required some help today. Um, I've opened up the multiplayer server, a six slot server, just so I can get some members of the public or my fans to help me along with creating the world's longest road train, I, I suppose you could call it. As many trailers that we can attach to a tractor in one go, or at least without getting too bored. This is going to be an immense job. So we're starting, they've already started over here. Mikolas and uh, Volcano Gal. They're both helping me along here. I'm gonna take two at a time, possibly three. We're joining it to the main one. So obviously, since doing this similar thing with the lorry trailers, uh, well, the bale trailers, I have had plenty of feedback regarding better ways to do it, so we're going to do it that way today. It should make the whole job much faster and easier. Here it is. I just don't know how we're going to do this. Anyway, what I do have is the tow bar mod, so if for whatever reason the tractors can't tow the entire load of trailers together, we can attach two tractors together to get a bit of a boost. We may have to attach them individually actually, looking at this. Let me just drop that one there bring them over in twos and then I suppose actually it might be a good idea to have a dedicated player just attaching them together and of course <laughs> we need to drop it off we have to run through each one individually this is going to be very slow so I'm going to time lapse it keep it as interesting as possible for you otherwise you are going to be deadly bored so <laughs> yeah I'll let the time lapse start in a second. I'll keep returning every now and then. You have to cycle through them all just to drop it off. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Volcano's doing there, but I'll go and get some more. And we'll keep going with this. I suppose it probably should have started further back. Not to worry. We have plenty to go out here. So I'm going to start the time lapse and I will see you in a minute or two. Well, it is now fairly long. I don't know how many we have actually. Um, oh, person. Hello. Sorry, I almost ran into you. Uh, yeah, Xerox has got five trailers hooked up back there. A mini road, tra road train, but actually that would still be considered as a big one. Five. Ours goes around a bend. I just have no idea how many trailers we have. Is there any way of looking? I suppose we have to count individually. Uh, but yeah, what the annoying thing is, you have to cycle through every single one before you can detach your first one. And that is very time consuming. That's what Volcano has just done. Now it's Mikolas, and then of course it's me, and then the five, yeah, five trailer road train behind us. Reversing two seems to be the limit. I think reversing one and two is not impossible, but you've got to be pretty skilled to be able to do that. Zorok says he, uh, he or she knows better way to hook up. Just hook them up one at a time. Oh, that is, yeah, that is true. It is easier. Um, but it does take longer. If, uh, if you can reverse two, which we've actually been able to do okay, it does take longer, but it is definitely easier. I don't know. It is faster. Have to agree. I don't know. You have to cycle through them twice though if you're going to do one at a time. 
Because you've got to detach it every time. Anyway, let me just see um, if Mikolas can do this okay. Looks like doing a very good job. Yep, hitched on. So now he's just cycling through them all until he gets back to the first one. And then the chocks can be put under the wheels and we can then go. I think I've missed my position now. We've run out as well. We have filled the garage area twice with these trailers. And I've also tried to tow them with this tractor and it doesn't go anywhere. It does move, at least it did move before these were attached. Slightly. It, it doesn't move a lot. Okay, this is when the uh, perfecting of trailer reversing really does come in handy. Yeah. Okay. I try and pull them at the same time cycling through. Oh, it does move them. Just about. A very small amount. Okay, we can't. Be there we go. That's the first one. Good. 45 trailers. I'm guessing they did count. Um, we'll have to count ourselves. I'll buy a few more. And we'll keep going until everybody says, that'll do, I'm bored. That is just incredible. We're going to have to get, I think, two tractors realistically to tow them around the map. We're going to take them on a tour. They're bound to get stuck on things though when going around corners. But no, that's quite impressive, really. I'm pleased by it. I just can't believe this thing can tow it. I'll get a few more hitched on. Obviously, it wants to be very long. Uh, so, yeah. Just trying to read the comments at the same time as recording the video. The minimap is representing a blue snake. The entire road there is just blue. You know, before I did this video, I thought we could probably try and make one the length of this main road. Now that we're actually doing it, I realise that was a very um, unrealistic idea. This is unrealistic. That was even more unrealistic. Uh, maybe if we were using the biggest trailers possible, we could be able to make it stretch quite a long way down here. But, yeah, this is just going to take forever anyway. But that is already... Without a doubt, a nice setup we've got. I mean, uh, we're not going to go and buy any big challenges or anything to tow this. We're actually going to use these tractors. We're going to attach them all together and see how far we can get with them. I think if a hill appears, which is unlikely, but if there is a hill, uh, we may well just be stopped in our tracks. I have consulted the team and they say they don't want any more trailers and I can understand the reasons why. It's incredibly long. How many trailers do we have? Uh, yeah, anyway, we'll get the tow bar bought. Well, we need a few. Very good mod. Available on Mod Hub if you're interested. I think there's four of us here, so we'll get a few. Probably didn't need the final one there. I'm going to take this and we'll get it. Well, this obviously can't be the back tractor have to be put into the queue somewhere, but I'm not too sure where. Businessman, get out of the way. Somebody else will have to go at the back. Everybody, I believe, is grabbing a tow bar. And then we can take this thing on a tour of the map. We may well get stuck straight away because we've got to turn around. If we take a wide enough swing, we may get down here. It depends how easily the trailers follow the path of the tractors. Yeah, that's not really worked, has it? Let me just get this sorted out. Uh, yeah, one second. Right, we've just had to change the tractors. We couldn't figure out how to get them to work with the Hurleyman. Uh, but now they are attaching to the Case IH-1455 tractors. Mikolas is trying to tow me and all of the other trailers in one go. Probably won't get very far. Uh, yeah, we might as well just finish off attaching these other tractors as well. Um, you have to do it by hand first of all. Then you have to press Q and X to attach it all. I think they should have a green end to them, but for some reason my one doesn't. 
Anyway, yeah, I'll just continue off screen. Getting all this attached. And I'll see you in a second. That's the second one attached. We now have three tractors, one more. Don't think the stayer tractor is going to be used. Just a load of walking people with tow bars. Oh yeah, and a massive road train behind it. If we pick up any kind of speed, which is unlikely, this thing is going to be snaking around, flipping over, glitching away, but I don't think we need to worry about that too much. It's going to be hilarious to see whatever happens, I think. Because uh, what we could do is we could go around the block and we could meet up with the back of the trailer. We can say hello to the back of the trailer. Okay, looks like it's um, almost there. I'm being very unhelpful here, but to be honest, I couldn't do it, so leaving it to the professionals. I've done it before on Sandy Bay, but I don't know. I know you have to press X and Q. So I suppose, yeah, it's going to be attached to there first. Yep, and then onto here. Whoa, crashed. There we go. Right, we are ready to go. Take a wide turn. Um, everybody has to turn and steer at the same time. We don't need to stay a steer. Not too sure on the correct pronunciation, but Volcano can go in the case as well. So it's basically four case tractors, all the same, towing 52 or 54 trailers. Oh, we seem to be pushing more than pulling. If everybody steers, turns at the same time, there shouldn't be any problems. The snake is following us. Obviously this has taken forever to do. So I think everybody is just pleased that it is now done. We can take it on a journey. 16 miles per hour. I wonder how much all this weighs. Oh no, we're snaking among us. Ah! Uh oh. Yeah, whatever you do, don't stop probably should have mentioned that before. Okay, so unfortunately Mikolas had to go, which means we've had to remove one of the tractors from this convoy. <laughs> I don't know the technical word for it. I suppose it's a joke, really. And now we've got to pull it uphill, and that is failing miserably. Is this first player, Volcano, accelerating? No. Come on, Case Tractors. It's your time to shine, and they have managed it. I think the uh, stopping every now and then is a bit of lag. Oh, look, there's the back of our trailer. Just over there. Oh, no, Volcano stopped again. Yes, it does really pick up momentum. So if you stop, you have a great pile-up. The trailers have got caught on this lamppost just here. We need to free it off. Hopefully nothing too serious. We need to be able to continue. We've only just started. Yeah, that seems to be okay. Shuffling them along. If you are new to this series, you're probably now realising why it is called the Unrealistic Series. There are many reasons behind it. Right, we'll try again. Hopefully this time it doesn't get stuck. If it does get stuck, then we're going to be suddenly all pulled backwards. But it's looking good so far, dare I say it. Just freeing it off this corner. They've all buckled around this shed. We now have Fast Tracks doing the job for us. Well, after 10 to 15 minutes of struggling, we have finally started moving again. Volcano has just crashed. I will lead. 
There we go, that's better. Okay, so unfortunately, you can see by the minimap, we've had to detach the trailers, and the reason why is it got wrapped around a shed. So our massive road train didn't get that far. We should have it facing the other way from the store. But it is still quite impressive. We have a lot going here. I can't really see the back of it, so that's still good. We have 33 miles per hour currently on it. I'm going to take a sudden turning here. I'll indicate, try and uh, show my intentions. That was not a good idea. Oh, we can't get too tight, actually, because it's going to get wrapped around the street light. Okay, we're just creating a very crazy image here. Weird. We're making every trailer go around there. Oh no, we've broken free. We're going to have to wait for the back of our trailers to clear. Ah. Oh. <laughs> they can't clear until we've moved. Well, this is turning into the right fail. Okay, we'll go around here. And, uh, yeah. Oh, that's actually quite a good opportunity to go over here, back onto the main road. Come on, Volcano. You're the only player that's stuck with me through this. That would do. Okay, let's pick up speed. That was a big mistake, all of that. Well, I think this is probably going to conclude the video. I have fairly well, I would say, shown what I wanted to do, although it didn't go too well. Um, I've had some great help though. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank everybody who has joined the server while doing this. I think there's only about three people, so not an awful lot of people to shout out to there. But yeah, it's a crazy thing to control. It's actually impossible to control. Two JCB fast tracks just about pulling half of the trailer road train which we've just created. So, if you have any more suggestions for what we can do next week, please do leave them down below, and I'll hopefully try and do it. This was possibly one step too far. Anyway, from me and Volcano, we're going to finish. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.